Hi friends, welcome back. In previous session, we have discussed how to read the data in ASP.NET Core MVC application by using AJAX method. In this session, we are going to insert the data into table by using the model pop-up. Whenever user clicks on this add product button, we are going to display the model pop-up. By using model pop-up, we are going to submit the data into database. Before continuing with this video, please watch my previous video which we explained how to read the data from the database in ASP.NET Core MVC application by using jQuery. So we have three important items here. One is product controller, index view and product JS. Product controller which we are going to communicate with the database and we are going to read the data by using the action methods and we are passing the data in the form of JSON. So this data will be passed to the index view we are binding into the table here. Here we are using the jQuery to perform the CRUD operations and we are taking help of AJAX methods here. This is the function which we created for reading purpose. Likewise we are going to create another method for insert. First we have to create one action method for the insertion. I am going to create one action method called insert. I will make it as insert here. Here we are going to posit data in the form of model that is product model. Here we have to define the method type. This is a post method. Since we are going to post the data into the database, we have to use the post method. Here before submitting the data, we have to validate the model. If it is model state is valid, then we have to submit the data. Else we have to display the error message. So I will return here. If model state is valid, then we have to save the data. For that, I am going to call my DB context. I have to add the product DB set. I will add the model here. And I have to save the data. Finally, we will return the message to the user. product details saved. Here straight away we can return this message if model state is invalid. So now we have to design the viewport for that whenever user clicks on this button so we have to display the model pop-up. Now we have to design the model pop-up for that I am going to create another div. So we need model here I am going to import model namespace here. So we have to call it our project name here inside this models inside models db entities here we have the product so I will define the class here it's a model I am going to provide id product model so because we are going to call this model from the javascript that's why i'm giving the id here we have to define the model dialog inside model dialog we will be having the model content Here I will give the model header. I will define h3 tag. I will 
give the class for this so these are all the bootstrap styles i am applying to the model pop-up if you want you can copy this from bootstrap website i am going to provide id also model title so i am going I am going to add model title dynamically because we are going to use this for insert and update. So we have defined the model header here. After this, we have to define the model body. I will create another div inside this model body. Here, first I will define the one hidden item for storing the id i'll use the asp4 here because we can take model items here default i'll set it as zero then i'll define another div i'll add the class motion bottom two inside this i will put label for product name then i have to define the text box here i have to define input type say text then i have to use the asp4 again it's a product name we can define class for this text box also we can place place folder here so i'm closing this i'll copy this div i'm going to reuse it for price and quantity price this is going to be number and here it should be quantity this text also number after these divs we need another div to display the buttons for that and giving class as model footer so inside the footer i am going to display my buttons here I'll add the button. So I'm going to define good sub styles again here. I'm going to give ID for this. It says save. Type will be submit. So here I'm going to call on click. So I will call the javascript function that will be insert here just we have to create this insert function so title will be saved so likewise we need update also update I will change this style so id I will give it as update Here I will change the ideas update. So on click we will call the update function from JavaScript. Here I will create another button to close the model pop up. I will define the class here. Here I am going to close the model. On click again I have to call the javascript function here. So I will create as hide model. So I will give the button name as close. So these three buttons will be displayed inside our model pop-up. So either save or update will be displayed because we are going to
call whenever insert is called that time save will be displayed whenever we are editing the record that time update will be displayed for this we need to add another style here by default save button will be displayed here I have to display none so dynamically we are going to validate these conditions whether either we have to display save or update button that we will decide dynamically so now we have to create a function for hiding this model as well as the insert we'll go to the javascript so this is the function which we created for reading the data from the database likewise we have to create another function to insert the data here before this whenever user clicks on this button so we have to display this model pop-up so first we will validate that for yeah. that I am going to create on click function here so here we have to pause ID of that button so I can take it from here this is the button whenever user clicks on this button so we have to display the model pop-up first we will check whether that functionality is working or not so here I will create a function So inside this, I am going to call model popup. So I have to get the name of model popup. This is our model popup ID. We have to show this model. First, we will check whether it's working or not. Run the application. we will click on button so our model pop-up is coming here dynamically we have to display the title that title is not coming we have to add that close this so we will add the title for the model pop-up for that I am going to take model title from here so this is the ID of model title here I am going to pause this ID and I am going to assign this text so I will make it as add product now we have to create insert function first we have to pause the form data in the form of object for that I am declaring one variable called form data and I will create a object here here I am going to read all the values from the form like product ID product name price quantity I'm going to read it from here for that I'll declare form data dot ID required so that ID we can get it from the form so I have to take this ID here this is the ID I have to pause here dot well so likewise we have to get the other values also product name we can get it from here then price price we can take it from this item So now we are able to read the data from the view. Now we have to call Ajax method to post the data. Here we have to post URL, then we have to post the data, then type. So these three items we have to post. First we have to post the URL that is our controller name slash to pause our action method name insert here we have to pause the data which is available inside the form data type will be post we are going to post the data to the database so once 
we post these datas we will get the success or error here I am going to create a function for that which we will get the response here otherwise we will get the error here here we have to display the alert to the user alert so this is the message I am going to display if there is any error here we have to validate the response if response is null it can be anything so we have to validate this undefined if it is the condition is satisfied so we are unable to save the data so this message we will display else we are going to display as response which we will get it so the response will be received from here so this response we are going to display here straight away will display the response here also whenever the new product is inserted we have to rebind the data so this is the method which we are calling so here I have to bind the data also so we will keep a debug point here we will run the application since we don't have any data in the database so we are showing this default message and if you click on the add product now title also added to the pop-up now I will create a product here click on save so it's hitting our controller so we can check the data here here we can check data ID 0 price is 15,000 product name quantity so we will proceed So here we are facing the data type issue system dot double two system dot int thirty two. So we will go to our models DB entities product. Here uh, we have to keep it as double. I think I changed the data type. Now we have corrected the data type. I will run the application without debugging. I will save it. Product details saved. So it is binding into our table. So, so we have to close this model after adding the data and we have to clear these text boxes I will close this model pop up close this working fine so two things we have to do whenever data is inserted we have to close the model pop up and also we have to clear the data for that I am going to create one function to hide the model pop up hide model this one I am going to create it here so here I to pause model ID I think we have model ID here this is the model ID model so here we have to hide so now this function will be called inside this insert function so once data is inserted successfully so we have to hide the model pop up and then we will be binding the data and we will display the response to the user also we have to clear all the controls for that I am going to create 
another function because we have to clear the text boxes otherwise it will display the same text again here controls or I will make it as clear data first one is product name value I am making as blank price then quantity so this clear data also I will call it from hide model because whenever this model is hiding that time I will clear the data also we will run the application we will click on add product I will click on save product details saved I will click on ok so pop up is closed and data is binding correctly again if I click on add product these values are cleared from the form so also we have to validate from client side so whenever I am trying to click on save so it's going to server side and it's validating so before submitting the data so we have to validate from the client side for that what we can do here we can create a function function validate I will declare a variable here is valid by default I will make it as true here I am going to validate each control if I to pause product name I can take it these values So I have to check the empty string is there. I have to use the trim here. If it is empty, I have to validate this and I am going to return this valid is false. So if it is empty, we should not allow user to submit the data. So whenever the product data is not entered by the user, I am going to change the text box color. Again, I am going to take this dot css I'm going to add it here border color I'll add in red else if it is data is entered then I have to change it to the some other color I'll make it as light gray so I'll copy this for other controls like price then quantity so this is the function which we are going to validate it inside the insert and update we will get the result from validate function if result is false then I am going to return false so that it will not be submitted to the server So also we have to validate one more thing here. So this will be validated at the time of insert or update only. But whenever the text is changed, we have to change these colors. For that, I am going to validate it here. So 
I can take product name first change here I'm going to create a function again I am calling as validate function inside that so that we know need to write, rewrite these all the logics so we are going to call this function so this function will validate and based on the validation it will set red or light gray so these things I have to apply it for price and quantity also price quantity so now whenever user is change the value so automatically this validation function will be called and it will be set border color as red or light gray so now everything looks good we will run the application now I'll go to the add product I'll try to submit the data without entering any fields click on save so it's going to server so it's not validating from the client side I have to check that so here actually we missed one thing so finally we have to return the is valid it's not returned here return is valid so if this condition is failed so automatically it will return as true run the application now I'll click on add product I will try to save directly so this functionality is working it's not hitting the server so client side validation is working fine I can close this I can add product so after adding the product it should be default should be gray I'll click on add product again so whenever we are clicking first time this should be changed to different colors we have to change this logic so I'll take it this so we have to clear this whenever we are clearing so we have to call this price and quantity so we have to make it default as light gray so I'll run it again product so I will try to click on save so its validation is working close it and I will try to click on add product so this time it's working fine so now I will try to submit the data without entering so now I will enter product name alone this time I will enter laptop so whenever we are changing so this uh, border is changing so now if I try to save so only these two controllers are validating and showing the red border for this text box so I'll enter the price now click on save product details saved it's binding into the table so like this we can insert the data in ASP.NET Core MVC by using model pop-up next session we are going to work on edit and delete operations that's it for today if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching